Vibrations are oscillations that occur in various parts of the helicopter, primarily caused by the rotor system, engine, and other moving components. In helicopters, vibrations are categorized based on their frequency, which refers to the number of oscillations per second. For example, low frequency vibrations are typically caused by the main rotor system. Low frequency vibrations occur at a rate of one to four cycles per second, or one to four hertz, corresponding to the rotation of the main rotor blades. These vibrations are often felt as bumping or shaking motion in the airframe itself. One to one vibrations caused by the blades being out of spanwise balance are transmitted as a lateral vibration to the airframe. You feel the lateral in the floor and seat as a rolling or rocking motion. If the blades are out of cordwise balance, a lift differential will occur on either the advancing or retreating side, depending on whether the blade is displaced forward or aft. This causes a one-to-one -one lateral, which you feel while hovering. The lateral vibration increases with forward speed. Medium frequency vibrations, on the other hand, are often associated with tail rotor or drivetrain components, typically in the range of 5 to 20 hertz. These vibrations might feel like a humming or buzzing sensation. Some common causes for medium frequency vibrations are tail rotor imbalance or misalignment, issues in the drivetrain such as misaligned shafts or worn components. High frequency vibrations, on the other hand, usually come from the engine or smaller rotating parts. High frequency vibrations occur over 20 hertz, sometimes reaching into the hundreds or thousands of hertz. High frequency vibrations can often feel like buzz or high pitched noise that can be harder to detect more damaging over time. Some common causes are engine imbalances or issues like worn bearings, components rotating at high speeds, such as gearboxes or auxiliary systems. Now let's talk about resonance. In helicopters, resonance can be a dangerous phenomenon because it can amplify vibrations to destructive levels. Think of ground resonance. Ground resonance is a type of resonance that occurs in helicopters with fully articulated rotor systems. When on the ground, it is caused by a mechanical imbalance of the rotor system combined with the flexibility of the landing gear. If one of the rotor blades becomes out of phase with the others due to a hard landing, for example, the imbalance can cause the helicopter to oscillate. If the natural frequency of these oscillations matches the natural frequency of the helicopter's landing gear system, the oscillations can quickly grow in amplitude, potentially leading to catastrophic failure. Ground resonance can often be stopped by immediately taking off if the helicopter is still airborne or by reducing the rotor RPM to break the resonance cycle. Frequency is the context of the vibrations and the resonance refers to the number of oscillations per second measured in hertz. Different parts of the helicopter vibrate at different frequencies depending on their mass, stiffness, and the forces acting upon them. Every component or system in the helicopter has a natural frequency, which is the frequency at which it naturally vibrates if disturbed. Ensuring that the main and tail rotors are properly balanced is critical in reducing vibrations. Regular inspections and maintenance help to identify and correct issues that lead to harmful vibrations or resonance. Let's recap. Vibrations are oscillations in the helicopter's components categorized by frequency of low, medium, and high. Resonance is potentially dangerous amplification of the vibrations when the frequency of an external force matches a system's natural frequency, such as ground resonance. The frequency is the rate of vibrations per second measured in hertz, which plays a key role in both vibrations and resonance. Pilots must be vigilant in detecting unusual vibrations and take corrective actions to prevent resonance from developing into a serious safety issue. Pro tip, when you're shutting down a helicopter, it was a common occurrence for us to open one door, remove one ear, and listen for high frequency vibrations of any potential bearings going bad. So keep that in mind. Be sure to like and subscribe for more information. If you're serious about helicopters and you don't know where to start, I'd love to help you out. I have a free course that's perfect for you. Click the link below to check it out.